is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a most 90 overall rebuild battle against Masa and today we're going to be using the Denver Nuggets before we get into it let's set a like goal of 200 likes hit that like button it helps out and of course if you're new around here hit that subscribe button also it's greatly appreciated most of you probably know who Masa is he had an unfortunate circumstance where his account got hacked if you unsubscribe to him at that point make sure to re-subscribe to him I'm sure most of you know who he is uh, I definitely have known him for quite some time. I actually do his thumbnails for him. He's a great guy So go uh, check out his video in the description after this one You can just you know you guys can see who wins But like I said go resubscribe to him if you aren't subscribed to him anymore And of course if you don't know him go subscribe to him man. D go do that right now But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get right into this Draft lottery and uh, see what we can get actually we don't have our pick. I forgot about that it goes to Oklahoma City uh, and then we're gonna go to staff signing. Honestly, this, you know, the staff really doesn't matter. We're just trying to get the most 90s, but the most important part is getting a trainer just in case you need somebody to, you know, boost up a little bit in overall. So I'll just keep Mike Malone because I'm not really worried about winning the championship today. So let's go to the draft. We don't have a pick, but maybe trading up could be essential because I think LaMelo or James Wiseman can get up to a 90, especially if we move James Wiseman to power forward. So that's what we're going to try to do. But there's also some other players I kind of want to target. Like the Pelicans. Zion Williamson is somebody I do kind of want to try to get. I don't know if I'm going to be able to trade up for the number one pick and get Zion. That's going to be kind of tough, but we might try it. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get Zion. So uh, we have a lot of uh, good players. Okay, I guess we don't have a ton of players I can trade right now. So it might be kind of tough, but we're going to try it. So let's go to the Pelicans. If we can't get this done, we're going to try to trade up in the draft. So we're going to go Zion uh for let's see what can we offer we can pretty much offer everybody besides Nikola Jokic because he's already a 90 obviously uh Jamal Murray I'm gonna keep him for now if I do have to you know we could include Jamal Murray in this trade it really doesn't matter because getting Zion's gonna be kind of tough but let's say we're gonna try without doing it we'll offer you Gary Harris obviously this isn't gonna get done Michael Porter as well for Zion Williamson they're not gonna do it for that we do have the 2020 Rockets pick which is only a half star rating so they're probably not gonna like that 2022 this is probably not going to go through, I wouldn't think. Yeah, so we're going to have to offer a little bit more than just that. What about uh, Monte Morris as well? Three star. They're not doing it for that. This is a lot for Zion. This might be a little too much, actually. You know what? If I give up Will Barton, too, that might be a little too much. for. I'm going to... Tr okay, so don't do that. Yeah, I'm not going to go any more than that. So instead, we're going to trade up in the draft and try to take James Wiseman instead of getting Zion. We'll try to get Zion later, potentially, if we can. But let's go to the Warriors for number one, and we should be able to offer, I'm sure, something. So I'm going to keep Michael Porter for now. Let's say Will Barton. They can't afford that, actually. So what about Monte Morris, who's three-star? They can't afford anything. Give me uh, Kevon Looney or something, I guess. And we'll offer you Monte Morris, uh, Will Barton. I can't offer them anything. They have no money. Gary Harris. Nope, can't do that. I don't know why. I literally just said I can't. This is not going to work, is it? Nope, it's not. So instead, let's do this. Monte Morris and Gary Harris. Can we trade up or get somebody? No, we can't. Okay, so instead of number one, we can't get number one. So maybe Wiseman will slip to number two. So let's go, not the second round pick. Let's go to the Cavaliers. They might have money to take on. So let's offer Monte Morris. They're not going to do it for that. We'll offer a 25th pick as well. Still not doing it. I'll also offer you, not Bull Bull, uh, Vlado Kenkar. Not doing it just yet. We'll offer one more pick. Okay, how about a couple seconds as well? Please do this. No, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to, let's trade Will Barton as well. I think we're just gonna trade Will Barton. I think they should take this. Will Barton, take this. They're not doing it still. Oh my goodness, one more pick. Okay, so we trade up to number two. Let's go into it and see who we get. So for number two overall, we get, hopefully James Wiseman slips because I'm pretty sure I can move him to power forward and he'll go up 90 eventually. Or is there something good here? Nah, nothing. So, of course, he went number one. Why would he not go to number one? Did, is Anthony, I don't know if Anthony Edwards is going to get there. I think LaMelo does. I think I'm going to take LaMelo here because I'm not sure if Anthony Edwards gets there or not. So, we're going to take LaMelo Ball. I know he does pretty good. 78 overall. I think I'm going to move him to shooting guard. And then Bull Bull, Keita Bates, Diop. So, worst case scenario, they don't work out. We're going to accept both of these guys. And then uh, let's go to qualifying offers. If they don't work out, we'll trade them for other players. So, now it's going to free agency. I don't think we have much money. Let's see. We have negative 59 million. Uh, Paul Millsap. Yeah, we're not getting him back. Actually, we might have a little bit of money. We might be able to free up a little bit more, actually. So, we have 15 million. Gary Harris's contract. Let's get a couple picks for him because I don't think he's going to help me get anything crazy. If we can just get a couple of picks for him and free up the money to maybe go after Anthony Davis. Like, Brandon Clark already saw that. So, I think I'm going to do that trade. Yeah, we're doing that trade. 
Oh wait, it shows my second pick. That's a glitch. So let's go back into here and let's go to Gary Harris again. Hopefully it doesn't show that again. Okay, can I just get a couple picks, please? Couple picks. Uh, Svi Mikhail looking at first. I think that's the trade we're gonna take. Or Terrence Davis. We'd have to trade it first, so I'm just gonna do this one instead. So that's gonna free up money, and now we have. 33 mil so can we throw an offer at anthony davis and maybe get him probably we probably can't get him but you know what we're gonna try it anyway so let's offer anthony davis contract actually you know what we could have done uh no we can't really do it anymore i was about to say we could trade somebody to the lakers like that has a lot of money we could have traded gary harris to the lakers potentially honestly should have done that and maybe would have we could have gotten anthony davis we need like a little bit more freed up so let's go down to Keita, Keita beats Diop and get a couple picks for him from the Knicks. Let's do that. So we're going to stack up on first round picks for the guys we don't really want. So let's offer this. I'm not giving him an option because the last time I did get AD, he didn't, I gave him, I didn't give him an option and that's not going to work in this case. So yeah, that's not going to work. All right. So we're not going to get Anthony Davis. Let's sign Whiteside potentially, maybe trade him and then we can offer Ingram a contract. Let's see if we get we do get Brandon Ingram. We're not gonna be able to get him. He's gonna get matched. So I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, they match. So we're gonna get Hassan Whiteside. I don't know if he's gonna get me anything good, but I'm gonna trade him right now and try to get something decent back. Hopefully a 90 overall player. We'll see. Whiteside for Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, but I have to trade. Not doing that. Uh Spencer Dinwiddie, Sabonis, Drew Holiday, Luke Kennard, Adams, D'Angelo Russell. D'Lo might get there he might get there you know what we're gonna get d'angelo russell we're gonna get d'angelo russell what we're gonna do is gonna move d'angelo russell to shooting guard he goes up to an 86 we have Jokic. we have jamal murray still we have michael porter we have lamello now i think if you move lamello to shooting guard he goes up he's up to a 79 so he might not get there worst case scenario he does not and we'll try to trade for somebody else i still want to try for zion potentially let's go to the pelicans i'll offer them uh this time i will offer them jamal murray and uh, okay they can't take that what if we offer michael porter instead not gonna do that well we got a couple more picks i don't know if they're gonna do this though let's offer this and then we'll offer mari spellman no and then we'll offer sv mikhail luke no they're not doing it okay how about we can also offer not lamello i don't really have anybody want to trade so yeah rough start but you know what we're gonna send to the trade deadline this is our team right now we should still have we have 13 mil left so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sign a couple more players that we can trade and then we're gonna get to the trade deadline and hopefully we're gonna be able to get some uh you know more 90s in return but so far this is kind of a rough start do we have paul millstab's uh bird options what bro what are you talking about man no or bird rights not bird options i don't know what i just said no we do not so we're gonna get Plumley back and Tory Craig, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline, and hopefully a team that is selling can get like a 90 or two at the trade deadline. We're in the midseason of season number one. The goal here is to at least get two players that I think can get to a 90 by our end deadline. So let's go look at Team Intel and see what we can find. So one player I do have in mind already is on the New York Knicks, and that'll be Mitchell Robinson, just because he's so easy to get, honestly. So I kind of want to get him. And then Zion's now untouchable, so we can't even get him anymore. But there's some other players like uh, Siakam. We could try him. Uh, what else could we try? Devin Booker, of course. There's always Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. So, yeah, we're going to try to get some guys like that. And then, yeah, there's no one on that team we can get. So, basically, let's just try for Mitchell Robinson real quick, see what they'd want for him. So, I'm pretty sure if you move Robinson to power forward, and plus he's a money saver just because he's making one mil after this season, so what would they want for Mitchell Robinson? They want Jamal Murray and two first. I definitely can't do that. LaMelo, DeAndre Russell. Okay, so they want way too much. So instead of that, let's try to build our own trade. And what we're going to do is let's say we offer you. So he's a four-star trade value. Let's offer you Spellman. Not going to do it for that. I don't really care about trading. Okay, so they already agreed to that. So that took one pick. We got Mitchell Robinson now. We're going to move him to power forward. Already an 89. So yeah, that's a good start. Plus, like I said, he saves us money. So welcome to the Nuggets mitch robinson so we basically have like three players i think that get to a 90 jamal murray potentially could but i kind of want to trade him as well so let's go ahead and just throw him in the trade finder real quick and see if we get something for him zach levine uh fred van vliet is there anyone rudy go bear i know can get there as well or zingas can definitely get there we might do that poor zingas trade uh kyle larry og Anobi. Clay thompson i think poor zingas is the move because i know for sure he can get to a 90 and plus he's under contract for the next four years so i won't have to pay him after this season so porzingis welcome to the team 
We're going to move you to power four now. I'm pretty sure it'll go up to a 90 right away, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so that's four 90s already, I think. Uh, Mitch Robson will get there, and DeAndre Russell will get there. We still have Porter. We still have Lamelo that we can trade. We still have assets. And also, what I want to do here, now that we're here, I'm going to throw up some of these guys in the trade finder. And we all know how broken this is. We can get a couple picks for these guys. Uh, but I'm not seeing any picks for Dozier, which I thought I would. But nah. So we're going to get Thonuses. And then we're going to do, we're going to go to, who else we got? Uh, right here we got, Th not Thonuses, Shelvin Mack. We should, come on, where am I? Taco Fall. We're going to get Taco. Bull Bull and Taco Fall on the same team? Yep, we're unstoppable now. So let's go to Raul Neto. Can I get some picks? I want some picks. Off. There's one. Okay, so we can get a first round from Philly. Can we get two for some reason? Can we get two? I don't think we can. We're going to take that first trade. The Philadelphia 76ers are kind enough to give me their 2022 unprotected for no other than Raul Neto. So now let's go to uh, Terrence Jones. He was on my team the other day in the gameplay. It was kind of funny. Okay, oh, can we get a second and Raul Neto right back? But I want a first. I want a couple firsts, actually, for Terrence Jones. So can we get that? Doesn't look like it. Frank Jackson, we have to give up a pick. Ben McLemore. I guess we'll just take Raul Neto in a second back. I mean, why not? Can we finesse this and get another pick from Philly? Can we do that? Let me try. Let me see if we can do that. Are they going to offer me? Nope, they don't. Okay, so they don't offer me another pick that time. That would be funny, but the Mavericks offer me a pick. So that is a finesse job. Actually, the Thunder offered me a first, so we're doing that. So I've gotten two first round picks for all Neto already. But now we're going to go Jeff Green. Let's trade you a forward pick. We need picks. Uh, second round pick. First round pick we're taking that from the nets and then now we have one more player i think we can trade i think it was tory craig we can actually trade speed mikhailuk as well because he's not in the rotation so i think he actually he might be but like i said it really doesn't matter we're just talking about draft picks now that way Ooh, is that jail or no that's jane like mcdaniels i was caruso how can i say no we get a first but and we get finney smith yeah we're doing this we're gonna do that so we're gonna get another first and then i think i'm gonna make one more trade then we're gonna simulate the rest of the season because i've been here long enough uh you know what actually no tory craig let's trade tory craig for all right he has no trade clause so never mind so let's just go ahead and send the rest of the season so right now we're sitting at four potential 90s which is good but we obviously probably need to get like at least three to four more at the end of season number one Giannis under de is your mvp wiseman is your rookie of the year on the golden state warriors lamello is your sixth man on our team Kawhi's fence player chris boucher is your most approved on the blazers and we won coach of the year as we went 54 and 28 so this was our rotation. It was kind of funky just because there's a lot of players, you know, obviously kind of playing out of, uh, you know, uh, their natural position. Jeremy Lin was our starting point guard. So, yeah, that tells you a lot. But, of course, that's going to change. Here are your player stats. 24, 23, 22, 15, uh, 13, and then Jeremy Lin with 12, Mitch Robinson with 9. So, we have one more offseason going after this. So, let's face the Memphis Grizzlies. Let's see if we can beat them. So, like I said, we got one more offseason. This is where we're going to trade probably LaMelo and michael porter because i don't think lamello will get there on time i just don't think he will but it looks like we're going to beat the grizzlies in five potentially and yes we do and now we get to play the dallas mavericks let's simulate current round against the mavericks we're up one to zero on them up two to zero up three to zero and can we sweep them we do we're in the western conference finals just in case you guys are curious i know some of you like when i show uh i guess i can't look now but let's go this in uh this round and show you guys what the grizzlies and the mavericks had Jaw, Jaron Jackson, Jonas Valanciunas, yeah, kind of the same basic team. And the Mavericks, they have Luka, Jamal Murray, because we took Porzingis, Seth Curry, Jalen Brunson. So now we get to play the Clippers, and they have uh, Lou Will, Paul George, Kawhi, Beasley, Montres Harrell, and Zubac. So let's see if we can beat them. Uh, I don't, I really don't care if we win or not, but uh, they're up two to one on us. We even it up. We're up three to two, and can we beat them? And yep, we beat them in seven. Now we get to play the Atlanta Hawks. We have Trey Young, Anthony Edwards, Hunter Collins and clint capella is only current around against the De or the atlanta hawks we're up two to one three to one and we win a championship in five games over the atlanta hawks so that really doesn't matter championships are a plus but like i said we need to get into this and of course we need to win uh this rebuild battle and get the most 90 so i think my goal is to get eight but if we can run if we can go with seven that's not bad either but my goal is eight 90s so let's go to staff signing like i said the staff really doesn't matter uh can we trade yes we can so uh let's go to team intel let's see if uh the pelicans are still rebuilding so zion is still in play potentially Derek rowe uh actually uh the spurs are rebuilding but they don't have anybody the suns are rebuilding 
Uh, the Timberwolves are selling, but Carl Anthony Towns isn't necessary. I'm gonna have to give up a lot to give him, or to get him, unless if they have like they the Timberwolves want to acquire Luca, Trey Young, and Jason Tatum. So I don't have anybody they would want. Uh, I need to pay attention to that as well. Uh, do the Pelicans have anybody that they want on my team? Nope. They want Doug. They want Doug McDermott. I wish I had Doug McDermott right now because honestly, I'd be trading him to you. Uh, Kawhi, Luca. Is there anyone? Luca, Zion. They want to get Zion. So do I. So do I, Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox is a free agent. I say we could probably trade for him, but uh, okay. So you know what? Let's throw uh, Lamelo ball in the trade fire because I don't think he's gonna get up there, unfortunately. So let's see what we can get for Lamelo straight up. Devin Booker, but we have to give up D'Lo. I will. I would trade. I really want to get Zion, but it's not necessary just because Zion's on his rookie contract. That's the reason I want to get Zion, but he's expired right now. And they're not doing it yet. How about another pick and another pick? Not doing it. Okay, I'm gonna offer like a bunch of these players that I have. So let's offer Benny Smith and uh, Delon Wright for Zion. They're not doing it. How about another pick? Oh, this is gonna get tough. Nope. And one more pick for Zion. Yes, they agree. Awesome. So we traded one for one. We got Zion. So that's gonna be another 90. So that that gave up. We did give up a lot. But Zion will be a 90. Can you move him to small four and he goes up? No, he actually goes down. Okay, so never mind. So Jokic, Porzingis, Milch Robinson is a 90. And then DeAndre Russell is an 89. I'm just curious. What if I threw Jokic in the trade finder? Can I get like two 90s? No, obviously probably not. But that would be funny if I could. Oh my gosh. I thought this was just straight up for Jokic. And honestly, if we could have done it straight up for Jokic, I probably would have done this trade. But obviously, it's for we can't do this, can we? No. Four more million in this trade. Can we finesse this somehow? Can we somehow do this? Okay, can we offer? We have no one to offer. We have nobody we can offer right now. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this trade. Instead of going back to that DeAndre Aiden and Devin Booker trade, because I really couldn't get it to work. I have one more player I think we can try to get, and I think it might be decently easy to get, and that's Shea. Still has rookie contract, only four star value. So what I wanna do is I wanna offer Bull Bull in this trade, but what I wanna do first is I wanna make Bull Bull a power forward. Uh, that way we can kind of get him to where maybe his value would be a little bit better. So Shea for Bull Bull, uh, four or three and a half. They need one. Okay, they need a little bit more in this trade to afford this. Uh, give me uh, James Ennis, I guess. All right, so they're not gonna do it for that, of course, but we have a lot of picks we can still trade. You know, Mitchell Robinson, I can't do that. I cannot give you Mitchell Robinson. So instead, I will give you TJ McConnell. I can't afford that. Okay. Uh, let's give you Jer Jaron Grant. They're not going to do it just yet. Another first. One more first. One more first. Not doing it just yet. Okay. Okay. All right. Instead of Shea, let's go to the Thunder. Let's Or instead of Bull Bull, we'll offer you Michael Porter instead. They're not going to do it for that. We'll offer one more first. Another first. We'll offer another player like uh, Taco Fall or Jaren Grant that should get this to go through. Let's go Jaren Grant instead. Not going to do it just yet. How about another first? They're not doing it. One more first. Okay, that took a lot. But we got Shea. So worst case scenario, Shea Gilles Alexander doesn't make it. We can trade him the trade deadline. I still want to try to get DeAndre Aiden, but so far we have like one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I'm still trying to target one more. You know, obviously another one would be great, but I honestly don't know if it'll be possible right now. I just don't, man. It's so tough out here right now. So, so far though, we're doing pretty good. We're gonna stop the trade deadline, like I said. Aiden is just so impossible to get right now. I've tried, man. He, they're just not budging. So I will stop the trade deadline and try to get DeAndre Aiden, and then uh, we'll have seven, and maybe we can somehow find a way to get eight. But for right now, my goal is to at least end with seven. But this is what we got right now. So let's go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline of next season. Here at the trade deadline, we're 37 and 13 right now. Like I said, the goal here is to get one more 90 or at least two more, or at least one. If we get two more, that'd be great, but I don't think it's gonna be possible. So Aiden is the goal here. He's gonna be the cheapest option to get. And he's make, and he's on his rookie contract and the Suns are selling. So yeah, the guy I wanna give them, of course, is Bull Bull. The salary matches up. Hopefully they take this, man. If they don't take this, I don't know what else I'm gonna do with my life. So we're gonna offer, uh, we have a, we don't have that many picks. We might have to come back to this and trade a lot of picks in order to get this. They wanna give me Devin Booker, give me Jokic. Okay, I'm on, honestly, we would have 90s. We could, we could just do this trade and we would still have, you know, honestly, obviously trading Jokic sucks, but both of these guys are still 90s. So let me see if I can do that without doing that. They wanna give me Devin Booker. I don't wanna have to do that. I'd rather just keep Jokic, but I guess if it does come down to that, 
Uh, I guess it might come down to that, guys. It might actually come down to that. So we're going to offer Taco Fall as well. Two and a half. They can't do it. Okay. Am I really going to have to give up Jokic in order to get this to go through? Hamdu Dial. Oh, wait. No, that's way too much. Uh, can you give me uh, D DJ Carton? No, wait. He's making... Okay, you know what? I don't know what it was that made that trade trigger. Honestly, I'd rather not do it that way, but we're going to have to, I think. So it's going to give us a 90. Uh, Devin Booker. So we get two 90s. And we get Aiden and Booker, and we get Nicole. We do have to trade Jokic, but you know what? We're doing this. We're getting both of them. So that's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. We have TJ McConnell. I don't think I can get eight. I will try, but I don't think it's going to be possible. I will offer Zion maybe in the trade finder, but I don't think we have enough salary. One thing I wish I did is like any of the, like I should have gave like Tory Craig, like 20 mil or something like that. That way we can maybe flip him. Or something but i didn't so that kind of sucks and maybe we could have gotten an eighth 90 but other than that guys i don't think it's gonna be possible we have seven i'm actually kind of nervous about shay getting to a 90 i will i throw him in the trade finder and i really didn't find anything back in return though that's gonna help me out i mean marvin bagley would just be an 88 if i'm moving to power forward so yeah i think i'm gonna take my chance on shay becoming a 90 so one last thing i do want to try is we're gonna go to team intel again is there any team that's selling or rebuilding that have two 90s this the pistons are selling but they don't have paul george uh let's see what else we got the Suns we just took their two 90s chris paul uh what else we got uh chris paul michael porter schroeder damian lillard it's not gonna work yeah i don't think we're gonna be able to get an eighth 90 on honestly man we might have to just roll with what we got. John Wall, I guess Bradley Beal, but he's making way too much money. And John Wall's an 87. Yeah, but John Wall's making way too much money. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be called. I, Derek Rose and Zach Levine, maybe. Both of them could get to a 90, but Derek Rose is an 87. And Zach Levine's only an 87. So I don't know about that. But you know what? We'll try to finesse both of them for one of, like, maybe two for one. So we'll get Zach Levine and Derek Rose. Okay, honestly, this could be possible. We'll offer... Poor Zingus. Okay, that's not gonna work. I don't even know if this salary is gonna match up. We'll offer you this guy as well. Okay, so actually we might be able to get this trade to go through, but this is risky. This might be a little too risky actually, because if neither one of these guys gets to a 90, then that was, ooh, we might be losing out, man. I don't know if I wanna do this actually. I don't think I wanna do this trade. I think I might just take my chance with seven, because there's no guarantee I can trade Zach Levine for a 90. But I mean, I don't know, man. Should I do it? I don't think I can do this. I just don't. I don't think I can do this trade. I just, I'm very scared to do it because if we get screwed over, we're not going to have another 90. I'm, if I could see what Zach Levine and Derek Rose would get me on the trade market, I would do this in a heartbeat, but I don't think this is going to work. I, I'm taking a big risk. I, I can't, man. That could have been a good idea. Maybe Zach Levine and Derek Rose could have gotten me a 90 on the trade finder. And I really don't know if they would have or not. But I can't take my chances. I'm just going to roll with seven, man. We're rolling with seven. Maybe I could have gotten eight, but we have seven. As long as Shea gets there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to roll with what we got, man. I don't think I can get better than that. I really don't. So, not bad. We have seven. So, hopefully, that's enough. Ooh, actually, Vucevic and Brogdon probably wouldn't get there. So, never mind. We're not doing that. Uh, if we had more time, maybe, but we don't. So, this was our last chance, Aldridge go bear uh yeah that's not gonna help me so yeah let's just simulate man that's about all we can do so let's roll with 790s and hope that's good enough at the end of the season this is our last season so i'm definitely nervous but we are the first seed let's go look at the stats and see how things went so 22 22 20 shay still an 88 man that better change that better freaking change man i'm very nervous he's not gonna get there because if he doesn't we have 690s but Let's do my current round against the Utah Jazz and see if we can beat them. I imagine we'll win another championship, but that's not the point. The point is to have the most 90s. We have six. Worst case scenario, we only get six. But if Shea boosts up to a 90, that'll be uh, seven. So yeah, definitely would rather obviously have seven. Uh, we're up 3-0 on the Mavericks and we sweep them. And now we get to play the Golden State Warriors uh let's go to simulate current round and uh, i think we'll get a morale boost after winning the championship so hopefully that helps out if we do win the championship we're up three to two game seven okay we're going to simcast because i'm nervous so let's go to this we're at home for this one please please don't lose the warriors come on are you serious 139 and 127 that is so irritating we really just lost the championship okay 
Well, let's uh, get to the offseason and uh, let's see how many 90s we had. So, 3-1 to one and the Celtics win the championship. Okay. So, in the offseason, this is where we're going to check how many 90s we had. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Shea did not move. He's an 88. <laughs> We ended up with six. Shea did not move. I should have traded him, man. I should have traded him. I thought he would get there, but he didn't. I mean, unless we're going all the way to player progression and see if he'll... Uh, I might lose him in free agency, though, so never mind. So, yeah. We we finished with six. Should have been seven, but Shea did not move. I made a mistake somewhere. Let me know where I messed up, guys. Let me know where I messed up. I wish we could have gotten eight, but it looks like we're finishing up with seven because Shea does not want to become a 90, unfortunately. So... Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out Moss's video, like I said. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.